So today, uh, I'm just going to walk you through the service kitchen and we're going to go through some of the uh, different sauces that we use. This is the hot larder section. Um, so this is basically, as it says, does all the hot starters. So on this section, you've got a lot of um, butter-based sauces. So we've got three of our main sauces here. We've got a, uh, this one here is a miso emulsion. So they're all emulsion based and emulsion basically for us is an emulsification of butter and water. Um, it's about 60% uh, butter, 40% water. Um, and we just basically melt the butter with the water together, bring it to a boil and then you just blend in a little bit more butter at the end and it emulsifies and you get this really nice thick sauce. Um, so this one here we've just seasoned that with comfy garlic, uh, salt, loads of lemon juice so it's nice and acidulated um, and then miso, some white miso uh, and then that's basically the sauce for our comfy cabbage dish as, as seen on Saturday Kitchen, one of our most popular starters. Um, but again it's made from the plain butter emulsion so this one here is just a plain butter emulsion literally just butter and water emulsified together and that's the sauce so that will be the base for making these two this one here which you might know from uh, some of our other videos is the sriracha butter so again it's uh this goes on our cod's head dish again one of the most signature one of our signature dishes we sell hundreds of the bloody things um so that is again just a plain butter emulsion base we then add our homemade sriracha to it. Quite a lot of lemon juice goes in there for acidity, just so it's not so rich. You need to, need to be a well-balanced sauce. This is a bacon sauce. So we make, so that one they have there in the squeezy bottle, that's actually made from, um, from all the smoked bacon trimmings. But we get, we buy that from our butcher. So it's basically when they slice all the bacon, you have all the, the ends and the sides. And we just dice it all up. And then basically just make a stock out of it. But as you can imagine, it just has a really smoky, sweet, salty flavor that the bacon trim gives it. As you can see, it's, uh, it's super thick. It has a little bit of tomato puree in there. Um, lots of leeks and mushrooms and fresh herbs. And again, so we basically, this is the base sauce for our mussels. So flame mussels with uh, smoked bacon and pickled lemon. So in service, they would just take, they would just take their emulsions into the pans and then just have them on the side of the stove and that's what we did that's what we sent up to the past then all seasoned and ready to go curry sauce so this is a quite a classic uh spiced curry sauce like more of a quite a mild curry powder base that we uh start off with loads of caramelized onions um ginger garlic a um, little bit of lemongrass a few ground spices toast our coconut milk base which gives it most of the body uh, and then it's in uh, simmered for a while and blended and passed. This goes with our current fish a la carte dish. So at the moment we're serving lovely halibut on the bone. Again, we have a few flame mussels. Um, so we flame the mussels in the curry sauce uh, and then we just take the mussels out, uh, place them on the plate and then the sauce is the garnish. This is one of my favorites actually. So this here is, uh, this is actually, this looks like oil, but it's actually all the beef fat. So all the, as you can, we use dairy cow in the restaurant. So dairy cow comes with a massive amount of fat on it. Now, just because it's a bit older and it's been, it's been matured for longer. Um, so they can sometimes have big, big fat, big fat content on the top. So we just render all that beef fat down once a week. Uh, and then once it's, once it's melted like so, we just infuse it with fresh garlic, uh, rosemary and thyme for about five hours pass off that fat and then we just have it here on the station so once they have their steaks they come off the grill we rest them and then we just brush them with this lovely fat season it with uh, mold and salt fresh cracked black pepper uh, and that makes this a really it's a really nice way of using that fat it's obviously the main pass so we've got the main side here so this is what we call yeah we just call this the mains pass and on this side here this is the hot larder pass so all the starters and and all of the uh, hot dishes will go through this side and then all the main courses will come up the, um, the left-hand side of the kitchen and we place it on this side of the pass. We heat the sauces up before service and we keep them hot in a the thermos flask. Just because we're so busy, there's not enough space for, uh, to have all the pans melting. So they get heated up um, at 12 o'clock and then again in the afternoon. Um, so we have four different sauces on the pass. We have a, um, a lovely pork sauce. So again, this sauce is a stock made from pork trimmings, pork bones, 
Um, a few roasted chicken bones for a bit more flavour, carrots and onions, sweat it down. Uh, we then chill all the stocks overnight, the same for all these meat-based sauces. We chill them down overnight and um, take off the fat and then reduce them. The pork sauce here is finished with uh, whole grain mustard, um, fresh thyme and um, a bit of uh, lemon juice as well. So that's the pork sauce and that goes, uh, that goes on the pork dish as you can imagine. Peppercorn sauce. Again, another one of my favorites actually. This is actually one of my dad's old recipes. We take the beef stock, just melt that down in a pan and set it aside. And then we've got, uh, we toast off cracked black pepper in a dry pan so it's nice and toasted. Um, add some butter, uh, loads of fresh chopped shallots. And then we flame the pan with brandy, reduce the, band, the brandy down to a glaze. We then add in the, the beef stock and uh, double cream and then just reduce it down so we get a nice consistency. We keep all the peppercorns in uh, and then we just finish it with Cabernet Sauvignon vinegar, a little bit of salt. Sometimes it might take a bit of sugar, it depends on the, the level of the stock. And then in service, um, in service then we just finish the sauce fresh to order with these lovely, beautiful um, green peppercorns, which I really love. They have that like, slight spiciness and then they just a little pop in the mouth as well, it's great. So just finish the sauce with that to order red wine sauce so again a beautiful uh, beef stock base reduced down uh, set aside and then we just make a reduction of uh, red wine and port uh, bring it all the way down just to this really really thick and syrupy then the beef sauce goes in um, we infuse it with fresh thyme and um, season it well with a bit of salt pepper everyone always forgets to season uh, sauces like the sauce is just reduced meat so very often like a little bit of salt can really bring the sauce to life it actually needs it uh, so season the sauce at the end with salt to taste um, and then just add the beef stock and uh, just check the levels sometimes it needs a bit of, a bit of acidity the stock can often change in, in flavor depending on you know how many how well the bones are roasted how well you caramelize the uh, the onions and the carrots people don't think about that but you can change the flavor of the sauce quite a lot by how far you caramelize your onion. And then the last sauce here we have is a pickle sauce. So we use this, we call this gherkin gravy. So again, it, this is a pork, a pork based stock. Uh, so the same stock we use for the pork sauce. Um, and then we just take the plain stock, heat it up in a pan. And then to that we add, um, we add this really nice here, uh, gherkin, so this is byproduct. This is actually gherkin. Uh, we call this gherkin ketchup. So it's gherkin. It's all the juice left over from the pickled gherkin, and we just take that juice. Uh, we set it with a uh, setting agent called Gelan, and it becomes like a tomato ketchup consistency. We add sugar and vinegar, which we call a gastrique, just to 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 round off the flavour. And then we add that ketchup to this sauce, um, mix it in. It gives the sauce a nice body. Um, thickens it slightly and it also gives us the opportunity um, to get that acidity, that sweet acidity in there. Finish it with fresh herbs and then you have like a more, a slightly thicker sauce. We use that to glaze our uh, sausage. So I suppose the last sauce we have now, so this is a beef, beef fat chimichurri. So we wanted to put a chimichurri on the steak. So our, our way of kind of trying to make it sustainable and, and use a bit more byproduct in there is we actually it's predominantly a uh, rendered beef fat as the base. So instead of oil, like olive oil, or traditionally you would use, or, or normal oil, wherever you are. Uh, so we basically, we add, past, we add loads of fresh herbs, chili, oregano, uh, blend it with the beef fat, um, and a little bit of oil, not 100%, just, just to level off the flavor, because 100% beef fat can be quite intense. Um, and then that goes, we basically use that as a, as a uh, garnish for all of our steaks. And we finish it with uh, pickled chili juice, uh, loads of fresh salt, a bit of lemon juice. Um, and then we add a few more fresh chopped fresh herbs to order. Um, and that's a really great addition to the menu. Uh, a really good way to use that beef up. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Just showing you a few of the basic sauces that we uh, have around the kitchen at Fallow. And uh, let us know if there's any, uh, let us know if there's anything else particular you'd like to see. Thanks very much.